What if you could get started with Azure for free? What if you could get familiar with Azure and create resources in Azure without being charged? My name is Eric Boyd. I'm an Azure MVP, a Microsoft Regional Director, and the founder of ResponsiveX, where we help customers run workloads and develop applications in Azure. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of several benefits that enable you to use Azure for free. I'll explain how the free trial works. I'll show you how you can turn your free trial into 12 months of free services. And I'll even show you services that are always available to you for free. If you haven't already, you can sign up for an Azure free trial by visiting azure.com. In the free trial, you have 30 days or $200 in credits to try Azure, whichever you hit first. You may be wondering, what can you use your $200 credit for? And the great news is it can be applied towards any Microsoft service in addition to the free services. You can also use more than the free amounts of any service using those credits. You can find a list of these services here on azure.com, as well as in the free services blade in the Azure portal. In the getting started with virtual machines video of this series, I will walk you through creating virtual machines in Azure. You will notice in the free services list, you get 12 months of a B1S sized Windows and Linux virtual machine for free. In the getting started with app service video of this series, I will walk you through creating an Azure app service. In the free services list, you will also see that you get 10 Azure app services provided to you always free. If you want to use the serverless capabilities provided by Azure Functions, you get 1 million requests per month for free. And in the getting started with SQL database video of this series, I will show you how to create SQL databases in Azure. The free account provides 12 months of a 250 gigabyte S0 size Azure SQL database for free. You also see other Azure storage and data services that are part of the free account, like Blob Storage, Cosmos DB, and other database platforms like MySQL and PostgreSQL. Now, I just mentioned a few of the compute, storage, and databases that are part of the free account. If you click on the See All Free Services button, you can see a full list of these services and the monthly amounts of each. And you can combine these free services into your real world solutions. For example, with services like App Service, Cognitive Services, and Azure Machine Learning, you could create AI-driven, personalized web and mobile experiences. You could create conversational chatbots with bot service and Azure Functions. And Azure Kubernetes Service provides a place to deploy your cloud-native container workloads. There are so many possibilities for you to make your great ideas real in Azure. And you can get started with the free services. So how do you get these free services? During your trial, you can move your subscription to pay-as-you-go pricing. When you do this, your credits will remain available until the end of your free trial, but you will get additional free service and uninterrupted access to Azure. In addition to the $200 in credits that come with the free trial, you will be able to continue to use popular services for free for the first 12 months of your Azure subscription in the included amounts. There are also more than 40 services that have monthly free amounts that you can always use for free and you will only pay for what you use beyond the included amounts. All you have to do to unlock these free services is browse to your subscription in the Azure portal and click the upgrade button in the upper left-hand corner of the command bar. This will guide you through the process of moving your subscription to pay-as-you-go pricing. And to avoid overages or unexpected costs, simply use the cost management and billing area in the Azure portal to monitor your Azure usage and set up budgets with alerts. This will ensure you don't have any surprises at the end of the billing period. If you want to know more about how to do this, I'd encourage you to check out the Managing Your Azure Cost video that's part of this series. One additional thing to mention, during the upgrade process, you'll be asked if you want to add an Azure support plan. As you're going through the phases of testing out Azure all the way to running your production workloads in the cloud, you might consider getting some level of support. If you're in a free account, billing and subscription support is just included. The developer support plan is great if you're playing around with the technology and just need some technical assistance. The standard and professional direct plans are best suited for your production workloads. They have faster response times and better product coverage. If you don't move your trial to a pay-as-you-go subscription, whenever you spend your $200 in credit or at the end of your 30 days, whichever you hit first, your free trial will expire and the resources you've deployed to your Azure subscription will be decommissioned and you won't be able to access them anymore. But you won't be billed for anything. In the next video of this series, I will share guidance, tips, 
and resources for architecting your solutions in Azure. Before I wrap up, I'd like to invite you to join me at our weekly Azure live Q&A session. During the 30 minute session, I will host an interactive and live Q&A to answer your Azure questions. <laughs>